I'm Big J. See, this mismatch is a piss take. I'm so gangster, I'm mixed race. See, fuck this fat guy, he's bitch made. Man heard you was a size 9. Width ways. See, you look like the type of guy to wear flip flops out in the snow. Even though it's fucking cold. And your fat belly hides your belt. You made a film on Netflix called Super Size Me. A man wouldn't supersize himself. Cause I'm not telling you to run for your life, bro. Run for your health. And them teeth in your mouth look like they belong to somebody else. Cause why does your top set and bottom set of teeth look like they're squashed at the top? Who told you you can rhyme with a boss? Bro, your mouth's so fucking big. I bet you bite your bottom lip every time that you cough. Cause you wore a leather jacket indoors against Monroe with the sleeves rolled up. Weirdo. If we was face to face you would crumble. It's funny how man keep telling me you're a paedophile but you look like Mr. Tumbles. Cause your forehead is fucking massive as well blood. And I bet when you get out of bed that shit's hard to lift. Look at your hat. Psh. All howdy and shit surrounded by kids bro take your hat off. And we can all see that he's a clown and that's it. Cause you like to speak in an American accent. But you look like a fat German. You look like Yanif, but the male whack version. Pussy. When this battle got announced, I got an inbox from Sensor telling me to Deji, so I guess it's time to turn John into Donami. I thought Big J was a pretty big name and the Roman must think of that of me. But I'm about to break you down logically and expose the holes in your pathology that you're thinking you've got this legend, Mantle. But you've only dabbled in mediocrity. You battled some of the best battlers in the game, but no notable win all the way through it. Check the analytics on any one of those battles. People are skipping the rounds when they view it. You've had opportunity after opportunity, and time and time again you just blew it. You're not a legend, you're a poster boy on how not to fucking do it. But what are you going to say? Well, he's from Shulsbury. What the hell is his accent missing? What, you're going to try and make out in Persona's not fact but fiction and bring up a whole bunch of past decisions for a whole bunch of drunken lads to witness? I'm a man of science, Jay. And I believe making movement even in the rapping business requires a subject in question to start amassing friction. See, I'm about to show you I got drastic vision. I'm about to get the entire class to listen where bars designed to crack your ribs and when the dust is settled and the clouds are parted and roll but past fruition, how the fuck are your shots supposed to hurt me when I'm the one providing the ammunition? But it's Big J's comeback! Guess what? No one cares! You look like a man-sized Ewok with no hair! And I'm here to fuck you up in the worst way like I did with P-Soldier on my first day. I had a seven-foot ass walking off stage after just two minutes of my wordplay. Rowan never let the footage see the light of day, so I'm never really sure if I'm even allowed to say, but since he's your buddy, I'll let you spoon him when I put you in the same shallow grave. Peace Soldier went missing in action. Monroe took an overdose. Jay, you're the third guy don't flat thrown at me, and you already fucking know you smoked. See, I was nearly out of this tournament, because Ur said that I didn't film it in fucking landscape. Minor, because you still look like Rufus Hound, you prick. I mean, damn, where do I begin? Bro, I could have feel myself taking a shit and I still would have took the win. Cause you spent your whole round talking about Peace Soldier and an imaginary battle that never happened. Bro, Peace Soldier will slap you so fucking hard that you start speaking in a better accent. Cause you claim you're bringing the heat, but you wore a coat inside. You might be claiming that you're not a fat nonce, but fam, you're giving off that vibe. And when you rap, why do you sound like a wrestler? Like, CJ, I'm on top of the world, i.e. on top of your girl. Try rebuttal this. I'll take you to the space station and we can shadow this. Man, shut the fuck up. Bro, when you rap, you sound like you don't even want to rap. So you should stop the talking, the forum posting. You're so boring. Up all night playing Old Town Road till early morning. Bro, you're not even funny to look at. You're an attention-seeking dickhead, so stop trying to force it. See, I bet you've never even been to America. Just copy everyone's accent who you meet. I bet if I ever see you, you'll be saying wagwan to me.
For four days, I had my mind stressing. Whole bunch of people telling me you were going to give me a life lesson. This is me, Jay. This should have been easy for you. But you decided to spend your time messing, and since you want to call me a German, well, guess what? Du kannst mein Scheiße essen. By the way, that means you can eat my shit. It takes a lot more than you to defeat my shit. You were laughing when it's about to go to the break, but it's really bad you to go to sleep on it. Because you're getting smoked, Jay. And every toke is going to get me higher. You're a ugly fuck who should have kept his mouth shut and probably just stayed retired. Because I'm about to ride your ganja green corpse over hot rocks of the land that I aspire. After this, the only way you're getting hot box is if I decide to set your casket on fire. You're out here calling me a fat dude as if that's any way to sun me. Yeah, I'm a fat dude, and you used to be, so you should know I'm fucking hungry. Let me to trounce everybody, take the top spot and the money, starting with a dude who isn't what he used to be, and you didn't even used to be that funny. I say a lot, Jay, but my message is clear. You don't need to try to decipher it. You came into this battle lazy as fuck. I came in to win and to fight for it. You let the rest of them know if they're battling me, they best be prepared to write for it, because sleeping on me is just bad for your health, and now I'm ending your life with it. In your second round, he said I was a wrestler as if that's some kind of low blow, but fuck it, I love that intention-seeking shit, so here's a fucking wrestling promo. You came to burn and diss me, but forgot I'm already crispy. You're a shadow of your former self, and your former self is dick cheese. Line up all the fucking veterans. I'm turning them into mincemeat. Don't fight just a game to me, and I'm out here rocking a cheat sheet. I'm gonna take all those old fuckers, put them back on the shelf like I'm a neat freak. Say goodbye to the glory days, it's not gonna be a rerun or a repeat. I'm leaving Big J Flay with a note stable on the back of this deadbeat saying crispy came to actually rap, so you better actually rap when you meet me. This is Gemini doing the judging for Big J versus... I'm look over there. Big J versus Chris B. I gave this one to Big J. Um, came out swinging, old school Big J. It was just like classic thing, you know what I'm saying? Um, I loved it. I got notes that I'm so gangster on mixed race, the size nine, width ways, the run for your health, the cough, the health, like just bare lines. I actually like Chris B. I think he's actually, um, he's actually fire. Like he raps with confidence and that, and I like that. He, he ain't like afraid to just like fully rap how he wants what i will say is get that under control and it's a good thing but a lot of people are too timid to even move like that you know what i'm saying and rap like that but just get it under control so you can use it as a power and it's not like something that's holding you back because you're doing it all the time and try not to multi too much and get to a point how you can rap okay so uh big j versus crispy uh, I think it is. Um, uh, Big J, uh, I'm edging the first round. Uh, just more charismatic. Uh, the super size me bar. <laughs> when I was watching it, because I watched his round first. So when I see the super size me bar, I'm like, if he looks like him, I'm going to crack off. And it did, he did, and it made me laugh. Um, uh, I think Chris B was a better, got better rapping, um, but just wasn't able to overwhelm Big J's humour. Uh, and then in the, the second round, uh, Big J had, what was the line? <laughs> uh, it's like, it's, it's like a, uh, something like, it's, not, it's something like you're, you're not a nonce, but you, you're giving off that vibe for those fucking jokes. And uh, yeah, like Crispy just had, uh, it was better, better at ra rapping, but just didn't really have anything that captured me or anything that really stood out, whereas Big J did. Uh, so I'm going to give that one 2-0 uh, to Big J. Um, I give that battle to Big J. Um, I feel like he had the better bars and better performance, to be honest. And I don't like the other guy's hat or his shower curtain. Um, I want to, you know, say this as respectfully as possible because I'm, I'm not trying to insult anybody. But I really don't like Chris B. Um, as, as a rapper at all. Not one bit. I just, it's a cringer style, and I don't like it. Um, I don't like the bars that he says. The bars aren't good enough for me to enjoy it, you know. He's talking to Big J, talking about, I'm breaking down the mediocrity of your pathology. It's Big J. Big J stood there like, what's pathology, blood? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, his first round, Crispy, is the best I've actually seen him. Um, it's the most I've ever come close to enjoying a Crispy verse. But Big J bodied him. He took the piss out of him. <laughs> your teeth are so big, I bet you bite your lip when you cough or something. The thing about P soldiers slapping him and they wake up with a better accent, something like that. Because, um, you know, you didn't body Big P. Nobody really thinks that. Um, I get you did on the day and he walked off, but uh, it, well, I don't I don't think it was because he was being bodied. Um, but I, at the same time, it did happen for you, so make that claim all the same. Who am I to take that away from you? That being said, Big J bodied this. 2-0 for me.
A Big J versus Crispy. <laughs> that was an interesting battle. Um, but both of them, like, you know, both of them went in. But I think first round, Big J came swinging. I think his his jokes, his classic, just taking a piss out of man, like, worked really well. But I also think he was, like, quite well reformed in this one. He, I think his sentencing was better. It wasn't as, you know, maybe sporadic as, as his earlier kind of battles. I think it was uh, worded well and they dropped a lot of good punches. Um, and then Chris B comes in with his first round and I won't take him to it at first and then like, you know, maybe like 10, 15 seconds in, he starts turning up the heat and he was going at Big J like quite a lot. Um, a lot of his angles and stuff were really good. Um, I didn't really like the second rounds. I just don't think they were as, as effective as the first ones. But um, if I'm doing it just off off the first rounds at least, I think Big J was just a bit more entertaining for me. So I'll give it to Big J just. <laughs>